2016 sci-fi thriller about aliens, linguistics, protecting the human race from themselves. I'm Alex and this is my review on Arrival. Hello again, uh, welcome back to another film review. Uh, today's film review is Arrival, it's Dennis Villanueva's, uh, he's taking us on a sci-fi journey basically, it's, uh, it's a great new film. Uh, starring Amy Adams and Jeremy Renner and Forrest Whit Whitaker. Uh, basically, Arrival is it's what a thriller should be. It's it's tense, it keeps you guessing, and it's got superb special effects. Obviously, very much a big thing in sci-fi films. Uh, coupled out with some wonderful acting performances, and you have yourself pretty much an instant winner. It's kind of what Independence Day 2 should have been, I suppose. Uh, not obviously the storyline of it, but... Uh, the way the film is acted out and portrayed and takes you into a kind of sci-fi thriller ideal, I suppose that is the way they should have gone. Uh, but yeah, like I say, um, Amy Adams' character in the film is a Dr. Louise Banks, who is a renowned uh, linguistics expert. And basically, uh, she's approached by Colonel Weber, who is Forrest Whitaker in the film. He basically shows up on her doorstep. Um, demanding that she come with them to help translate this strange sound being made by these aliens who just happen to have landed in 12 different locations around the world. Obviously each government of where they've landed is also trying to work out what's happening and with the beginning of the film basically everyone is communicating with each other trying like mutual goal basically of working out what they're saying. Obviously she doesn't have much choice so she does leave with the army uh, basically is taken to the site in America where the aliens have landed. It's there that she meets a Dr. Ian Donnelly, who is played by Jeremy Renner in this film. And uh, he's a military scientist who basically becomes, throughout the film, Louise's main ally. And at the end, more than an ally. Uh, so you can probably guess where that's going to go. <laughs> um, but what is unknown to kind of both the army and Ian Donnelly at the time is that Louise has quite a deep, dark secret which is that she lost a child um, who died of cancer in her late teens. Um, we are shown this at the beginning of the film, and it does play quite a strong, poignant part throughout the actual film itself, so it does have a lot bearing on it. Um, and it kind of... Her meetings with the aliens does cause quite painful flashbacks uh, and that illuminates echoes in her consciousness, which makes her think back to the times with her child. Um, so that kind of brings the audience in emotionally to the film, uh, which of course is a great way to kind of involve the audience. Um, this so-called language that she's got to actually uh, kind of deconstruct and work out what they're saying, um, it's at the beginning it's very much just sound and noises, however with her um, kind of throughout she begins to kind of dissect what they're saying and it turns into uh, the aliens actually projecting with a form of kind of ink, I suppose it is. Uh, they project kind of symbols onto, uh, it's onto thin air, basically. And she's able to start uh, photographing these with the help of the army and Ian Donnelly. Uh, she starts photographing them uh, and deconstructing what each symbol kind of means. And kind of at some point, she actually manages to get on a level where she's understanding the language, which is obviously quite impressive considering it's an alien language. However, uh, nearer the end of the film we start to realise that all again might not be as it seems with Amy Adams' character and therefore it kind of gives her a slight distinct advantage on how she's actually depicted and uh, deciphered this language itself. Um, throughout the film you're kind of asking yourself whether the aliens have come for a peaceful reason or whether it's like Independence Day and they've come to blow everything up. Um, this question is answered uh, as the film progresses and you kind of get more and more of an idea of why they're there, uh, mainly in part to Dr. Banks' uh, depiction of and description and deciphering of the language itself. Uh, obviously that helps them to discover well, their true motive of coming. Uh, obviously most of the world believe it to be that it is because they want to take over the planet, basically use it for their own resource. Um, but throughout she's trying to kind of find the true reason and obviously uh, work out what she can do to help them and make it a peaceful kind of process. Um, and obviously again, I don't want to ruin the end of the film, but 
but yeah, it's it's obviously a very progressive thing with something like that. Uh, but what the film does as well is it does very well to switch focus between political intrigue and kind of a betrayal within the human ranks itself. Obviously, it's very difficult when a lot of countries have got to work together to try and force a common goal. Especially some of the countries that are depicted in this film. Obviously, not all countries are going to want to work together. So, it is a very much of a who can you trust and who you can't trust sort of thing. So, it does well to kind of project that even if there was an alien invasion, not all countries want to work together still. There's still kind of their own agendas and, you know, it does well to highlight that. But all in all, this film takes uh, takes big risks. Obviously, with a lot of sci-fi films, it's very much hit or miss. They're either going to be box office successes or failures. Um, and I feel like this one's quite a good success. Uh, it's an exciting film. Amy Adams' probably best performance that I've ever seen. Uh, I think she does really well in this film and she carries it in parts. Um, Jeremy Renner and Forrest Whitaker are obviously uh, very good actors as well and they give strength to the cast. And uh, it turns out to be one of those films that kind of resonates with the audience in ways I think nobody really expected from seeing maybe the trailer or as they were actually going in to see the film. So that's important. Obviously, it uh, does a lot more than it says on the tin sort of thing, which is great. Uh, all in all, I think I'd give the film four out of five stars. Uh, it wasn't a perfect film. I don't think no film is actually perfect. Um, I would probably never give a film five stars because I don't think anything can really uh, get to that point. But yeah, solid four out of five. Like I say, strong acting performances by the main three actors. Uh, the ensemble cast was very good as well. And uh, all in all, yeah, I think it was uh, just, just a great film. I didn't expect it to be so good, in all honesty. So I was very much pleasantly surprised. And I uh, highly recommend going to see it. I hope you've enjoyed the film review. And uh, yeah, like I say, hopefully you can go and see it. Form your own opinion. Let me know. And uh, I'll catch you next time. See ya.